instrument. It's not a competition between you and me, not between you and you, not between him and her or them and those and keeping up with the Joneses, but against, it's, it's against me. I'll run my race with patience. I am my greatest enemy, and yet I am my greatest friend as long as I have my Savior. Hey, I can do anything, anything the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Take all those Bibles and throw them in a the fire. They say, I can do all things through him. Who? Who am I just supposed to guess? Am I just supposed to hope? Am I just supposed to go, oh, I think they're talking about the Lord there. No, I can do all things through Christ. Name the name of Christ. What kind of Bible takes out the name of Christ? I can do all things of Christ, which strengthens me. You know, I, I, it brings me of that story where Jesus was in the garden praying, and he said, Father, not my will, not my will. Three times he prayed that prayer. Not my will, Father. Not my will to be bruised. Not my will to be beaten. Not my will to have my beard ripped out of my face. Not my will to be beaten with a cat of nine tails and have my body ripped apart. Not my will to have spikes driven through my hands and my feet. Not my will to be mocked and showed my nakedness. Not my will to have all my, my friends run from me. Not my will to have people mock me. Not my will to have the heathen who aren't even my Jewish brethren mock me, jeer me, and buffet me in my face and spit upon me. Not my will. But nevertheless, not my will. Thy will be done. Huh. Folks, I'm not talking about God's going to deliver you out of all your trials all the time. Hebrews chapter 11 is proof that he doesn't always deliver you from your trials. But we do know Romans 8, 28 says all things, all things, all, all, all. Get that, get that. Say it with me, say it. All things. All things work together for good. Not your good. His, his will, Amen. his sovereign, omniscient, all-powerful, all-knowing, everywhere will. Folks, just decide today to build your house on the rock. Let everybody else decide to build their house on the sand, and the storm still comes. It's the same storm that hits the house on the rock. It's the same storm that hits the one that's on the sand, but only one of them's left standing. Where'd you build your house? That if you open it and go, well, I read my Bible today. Why didn't the sky split open and Jesus open up the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing? Oh, the one time you opened it that month. <laughs> Christianity is not measured in days or weeks. It's measured in decades. Who are we to say, God, you, you can't, nobody, not one person in this room can take your old stinking finger and point it in the face of God and be accusatory toward God because the foolishness of God is wiser than men and this weakness of God is stronger than the strength of men. Jeremiah 9, 23. Uh, and 24, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, nor the mighty man glory in his might, nor the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glorieth in this, that he knoweth and understandeth the Lord, that he knoweth, get that, you, you little, not you little peons, me little peon, peon Jake Jackson, and, 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 and uh, the peons of the world can know, and not only know, but understand. God Almighty. Uh, no, it's no turning back. No turning back. No turning back. I don't care who's in the White House. I care who's on the throne. He's still on the throne, and he's not descending from it. There's no good reason to quit. And I'm not going to stand up here and say it can't get so hard because a lot of you in this room have it harder than I do in many different ways. You live with things. You live with regrets. You live with do-overs. You live with things currently on your plate that you say, oh, man, I never should have, or I never could have, or, man, I let go of, or, man, I shouldn't have. And I listen, no. Get rid of that shoulda, coulda, woulda lifestyle. Let it go. Live today and live for the future, knowing the Lord Jesus Christ loves you, knowing that God loves you, knowing that he's coming back for you again one day, knowing that he calls you beloved, knowing that you're written in the palm of his hands, knowing that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life, never to be blotted out, amen, and knowing with a surety that you're going to heaven when you're dying. Stop living with regret and live starting where you are. I've been saved for 15 years. I've been saved for 30 years. And I can quote you all kinds of Bible verses. And Lord, I've, I've, I've taught a Sunday school. Lord, I've done all kinds of things. But Lord, my faith is weak. It's been strong. But Lord, it's weak now. And I feel beat down. I feel worn out. I can't tell you how many conversations I've had with veteran Christians who I had to encourage. If you're red, yellow, black, white, you've got a soul inside of you and it's dying and going, 
going to hell and I can't pay your bills and I can't give you a new car and I can't make all your problems go away, but I can, I can make sure that you're going to heaven when you die. I can give you the gospel of Jesus Christ who said, I'll never leave you and never forsake you. I'll never let you go. I'll never let you down. I'll write your name in the Lamb's book of life and I'll never forget you. And when you die, you can come to heaven and be with me. But in the meantime, I'll be with you. I'll be your friend. I'll never leave you. If you'll stick by my book and you obey my book, I'll give you a changed life and a transformed life. And that's what we've always been about. And that's what we're going to continue to be about. We've had our ebbs and flows and our ups and downs, our ins and outs. We've had our good times and our bad times. But I can tell you the times of this book are going to stay the same. And Three Years Baptist Church may close its doors one day. Who knows? Another generation. Who knows? Time may go on to where this place becomes a shadow of a memory of a uh, all Alzheimer patient an award somewhere that's forgotten about tucked in a corner of a hospital somewhere and you're the last surviving member of what used to be called Three Rivers Baptist Church but Three Rivers can close up and First Baptist can close up and um, Brother Tom Malone's can close up and Lee Robertson's can close up and Curtis Hudson's can close up and Lester Roloff and R.G. Lee and uh, uh, um, uh, Brother uh, J. Frank Norris and G.B. Vick all these great churches have closed up but you know what has hasn't closed up the word of God and the word of God stands firm and the word of God stands strong and it will never ever no not ever it won't ever change and I'm just going to attach myself to an unsinkable ship to a boat that does not take on water no listen all kinds of people have attacked this boat all kinds of people have attacked this ship all kinds of people have tried to say get down you know get do away with the bus ministry it brings in the riffraff do away with the bus ministry it brings on the undesirables but God, what Bible are you reading? Jesus came to save sinners. And I need to bring it down. Miss Jennifer, dropping the landing gear right now, calling into the tower. I'm bringing it in for a landing. Thank you for flying TRBC Airlines.